I'm a Jibolu from Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. In this talk, I will present our SOK paper, Demystified Binary Lifters Through the Lens of Downstream Applications. This work is done with Yuan Yuan and Dr. Shai Wang from HKUST and Dr. Yu Yan Bao from University of Waterloo. First, let me introduce the background of binary lifters. Binary lifters convert executables into an intermediate representation of the compiler framework. Science binary code can hardly be used to understand and analyze easily. Binary lifters are employed to recover LRVM IR, which is deemed analysis friendly from a binary code for various security applications. With years of development, binary lifters are becoming increasingly popular. Generally, binary lifting consists of several essential steps. Disassembly converts binary to assembly code, and IR lifting converts assembly code into LLVM IR code. They form the two core steps of lifters. Based on the different design patterns of binary lifters, some missing information, such as variables, types, and function boundaries, may be recovered during lifting. And some runtime modules may be added to lifted IR to assist the program execution. These two steps are optional depending on the different focus of lifters. And also there is usually some refinement and optimization passes at the IR level before the final output. In general, native optimizations in the LLVM framework can be reused on the lifted IR code. Now I will show our motivation for doing this study. Recent studies have reported promising results suggesting that binary lifters can generate LLVM IR code with correct functionality. However, it is still unclear if correct and functional IR necessarily means expressive and usable IR, especially when lifted IR is used in a variety of different scenarios. We provide an example here. The IR generated by Maxima is semantically correct, but can have different representation compared with IR generated by the compiler. For example, variables in C code will be translated into corresponding variables in clone generated IR. But in Maxima generated IR, variables will be represented as members of two special structs named the state and the mem. Also, the function prototypes will not be recovered in Maxima generated IR. As shown in figure C, functions in Maxima generated IR always have two arguments, state i's and mem, which represent hardware state and the memory objects separately. As we observed that the lifted IR code can have visually different representations with IR produced by compiler. The different representations could likely hinder downstream analysis. So we wanted to ask to what extent the lifted IR can support representative downstream applications. However, expressiveness is hard to define formally and therefore we measure it from an empirical perspective. More specifically, we want to demystify the expressiveness of binary lifters through the lens of representative downstream applications. We use downstream applications including discriminability analysis, pointer analysis, CT compilation, and address sanitization. Overall, in this work, we conduct an in-depth study of binary lifters. 
we study four popular lifters developed by academia and the industry with downstream applications, including neural code comprehension, static value site analysis, Radex CT compiler, and the clone address sanitization. Yeah, we conduct such a study in a cross, a cross compiler and a cross platform study. Now let me briefly introduce the downstream applications. Pointer analysis establishes which pointer can point to the same variables or memory objects. It is the cornerstone of most data and the control flow analysis. We leverage the state of the art LLVM point analysis library, SVF. Discriminability analysis determines the similarity of two pieces of IR code that implement the same or different task. It is the base of various similarity-based uh, security applications. For instance, malware clustering and the code plagiarism detection. We reuse the code embedding to NCC published in NIPS 2018 which converts similar IR code into numerical vectors with close distance. CT compiler conducts a site of analysis passes to the IR code and converts IR code into high-level C source code. For this task, we use the decompiler component provided by the RATDAC framework, which is the best available LLVM IR-based safety compiler according to our empirical observation. And the address sanitizer is a well-known memory exploitation protection mechanism. In this study, we use address sanitizer provided by clone. We benchmark four lifters, including Maxima, developed by Trufbit, Macto, developed by Microsoft, Reddeck, been to IRVM, developed by Avast, and BINREC, published in Eurosys 2020. To review how compiler optimizations could affect the performance of downstream applications, we configure Maxima to disable all imposed optimization passes as maximum zero. Overall, the team that compiler generated IR denotes the upper bound quality of lifted IR. We empirically benchmark how far we are from the perspective of the downstream applications. Instead, instead of defining how good the lifted IR should be, with regard to downstream tasks, we check whether lifted and compiled IR has comparable performance. Then here are the findings of this study. One of our major findings is that currently existing lifters follow two distinct patterns when producing IR code. We distinguish them as emulation style IR, abbreviated as EIR, and high level IR, abbreviated as HIR, in the following. Generally, EIR is functional and executable, as it tries to emulate each hardware instruction peacefully with IR code. However, such IR does not contain valuable information, including variables and the types and even function prototypes. On the other hand, HIR is concise and easy to understood by, uh, but usually not functional. As accurately recovering variables and types from script binary is challenging. Here is an example. As shown in this figure, a simple move instruction in assembly code will correspond to a sequence of load and store instructions in the EIR code. 
But HR code lifters will analyze this code snippet and summarize the two move instructions as an argument of a function call, which is close to compiler generated IR. Basically, IR represents CPU registers with global variables and use multiple IR instructions to achieve the semantics of an assembly instruction. And thus, EIR is usually more lengthy and difficult to be understood by analysts. We find that our lifters have trivial support for pointer analysis. The main reason is that pointer analysis relies on accurately recovered variables and types. However, 100% recovery is challenging and undecidable in reverse engineering. Besides, we find that lifters failed because, because of two different reasons, MIRAC and the Maxima, which is EIR, failed because EIR naturally does not support pointer analysis as function prototypes and variables are not recovered at all. And for RATDAC and MAC2, which produce HIR, they failed because variables and types are not correct, are correctly recovered. We further investigated their algorithms and found that lifters have not fully limited research products in the reverse engineering field. Nevertheless, RATDAC can leverage debug information to refine its output. Thus, we are able to enhance point analysis results with the help of advanced methods in reverse engineering. For example, DB, which published in CCS18, can be used to predict the debug information for stripped boundaries. For discriminability analysis, we find that HIR generally outperforms EIR and optimization can significantly improve classification accuracy. Also, IR lifted by HIR lifters like RATADAC and MACTO has comparable performance with even compiled IR. For decompression, we follow existing research and measure the structuredness of decompiled C code by counting the go-to statements and the average line of code. We find that compiled IR generally exhibits better performance than lifted IR. Well, IR lifted by RedStack has a close performance with compiled IR. Besides, we also recompiled our lifted IR to check their functionality correctness. Most IR lifted by EIR lifters, such as Maxima and the BINRAC, can pass the test cases, while HIR lifted by RADAC and the MACTO show lower success rates. This result again demonstrates that modern binary lifters have distinct designs. EIR lifters focus more on functionality and HR lifters focus more on readability. We also compare RetroWrite, an advanced binary rewriter with binary lifters in applying extra sanitizer to executables. We find that Maxima has appealing utility. Although stack variables are not recovered in lifted IR, Maxima shows heap sanitization performance comparable to RetroWrite. Overall, we summarize our main results in this table. Note that RATDAG can be enhanced with debug information predicted by DB. Thus, pointer analysis accuracy of RATDAG can be improved. We denote this in the second row with an extra arrow. Finally, we concluded this study with several takeaway messages. First, LLVM IR optimization plays a critical role in generating concise and discriminable IR code.
second, state of the art lifters cannot recover variables and types accurately. But some advanced, but some advanced research output can be used to enhance the performance. And third, battery lifters have distinct preferences. ER lifters focus on functionality, while HIR lifters focus on readability. Also, HIR lifters can produce IR code that has comparable performance with even compared IR on the discriminability analysis task. That's all for the presentation. Thank you for listening. And I'm glad to take some questions.